Hi guys and welcome to today's video on the geometry of simultaneous linear equations with two variables. And yes, I was reading that because who's going to have time to remember? If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for uh, joining me. Uh, can you do me a favor and subscribe by clicking that little doohickey in the corner? Um, subscribing is great. Just knows, uh, just lets me know that you're out there watching. Um, and obviously, while this channel is never going to make me rich or famous, because to be honest with you, who wants to watch math videos? Ha! Ah! No one, it would appear. Um, it's nice to know that I'm not sitting here talking to myself. All right, now onto the, the, the fun stuff. This is a continuation of a lesson from the Methods 3 and 4 course here in Australia. Don't worry if you're not doing Methods 3 and 4. Don't worry if you're not even Australia. Math is a universal language and simultaneous equations and linear equations and variables and all that type of stuff is all just standard language. So what are we going to actually be dealing with? Well, as is now highlighted above, the learning of the lesson is to know what it means for two simultaneous equations. And we're only dealing with two equations at this moment in time to have zero, one, and infinite solutions to infinity and beyond from my mate Buzz Lightyear. Um, so that's an interesting one uh, to know how to graph simultaneous equations, know how to find simultaneous equations, whether they have one, two, or infinite solutions, and know how to use the CAS. Now, I have gone on and on and on and on and on about matrices and simultaneous equations. In my previous videos, now finally we're going to use some part of matrices to help me. If you haven't watched the matrix video, there is a link above to sort of take you to the matrices video that will sort of scaffold the learning for this particular part here. Right, at least it'll tell you what a matrix is. But we've already decided simultaneous equations since year 10, we've been doing elimination and substitution. If you've really, really unlucky, you've had to do this graphically, or if a teacher's really, really liked you and you've been lucky, you've used some sort of software like Desmos or GeoGebra. Matrices, I've talked about that, and using your CAS. Now, when you think about simultaneous equations, Lots of times teachers teach the maths behind it, the algebra, the elimination, the substitution, but actually going, well, you know what, guys, what we're really trying to do is we're trying to find the point where two lines cross. That is literally it. When you have a solution to a simultaneous equation, and most times you'll have an x value and a y value, they actually are a coordinate. Because a simultaneous equation is nothing more than a straight line written in a different way. So if I have 3x minus 2y is equal to 6, for example, I can rearrange that. It's got an x term, a y term in it. I can rearrange it so that it's y is equal to mx plus c form. And there you have a straight line. So if I have two straight lines on a graph, all of the theory we've done before has probably suggested that they can always be solved. But... Actually, thinking a little bit further now, what if two lines are parallel? If I have two parallel lines, he says, trying to draw them with his hands on the camera, well, they are never, ever, ever going to meet. Well, if they're never going to meet, they're never going to cross. And if they don't cross, they won't ever have a solution. So actually, there's a second case. You have one case where they cross and meet at one point. We have one case where they don't ever meet. And what about the third case? Well, the third case is an interesting one because it's where they have an infinite number of solutions. And what do I mean by infinite number of solutions? Well, let's look at some graphs. So the first graph I'm going to show you here, I've drawn on two, drawn on two graphs. I've got 2x minus 3y is equal to 6 and 2x minus y is equal to negative 1. In that situation, looking at the graphs, we can see that they actually cross at that one point. If I went on and solved this by elimination or substitution or whatever method I wanted to do, I'd end up that my x value would be minus 2.25 and my y value would be negative 3.5. And there we go. That is my one solution. It crosses in one place. Thank you very much. The other one, as I was just saying a moment ago, is that they never meet, as in there is no solution to these equations. Now, I want you to notice something about the equations. 2x minus y equals 6 and 2x minus y equals negative 1. Do you notice the left-hand side of these equations are identical? The only thing that's different are those values there. Now that's actually going to be critically important for later videos and the work coming up in methods three and four. If you can rearrange two equations such that the left hand sides are the same, the x's and y's share the same coefficient, the only thing that's different is the number after the equal sign, then you can say categorically that they are parallel. You can't actually from this particular form of the equation say what the gradient is. It's not like I can say the gradient six or minus one, but what I can say 
is that they are parallel. Now don't press stop, not just yet guys, this is a preview video and you've reached almost the end of it, but it does continue over on mathsguru.com. Mathsguru.com, yep, that's my custom website, bits of it you can see around me at the moment. That has been designed to allow the videos to be easier searched than they are on YouTube. So you can search by chapter, by textbook. Each video has downloadable notes for you, so you can put them in your summary book or your exercise book. There are exam questions and there is more and more content and more stuff coming as time allows. So head on over there, it's absolutely free to sign up and I'm doing everything I can to make sure that you guys enjoy maths and actually take out the mastery of maths. It is not as hard as you think, it is all smoke and mirrors. Okay, thanks very much, take care guys, I look forward to seeing you in another video. Stay safe.